Hello and welcome to this video. You are inside my online math classroom, Math Class with Terry V. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is a compound interest problem and I have two examples for you to try. And as always, on a piece of paper with the calculator, you should work, try to work them out um, before I work them out. Just kind of test yourself a little bit. So hit pause on this video and then watch to see if you are correct. Go ahead. So the formula in the upper corner here, um, A equals P times, in parentheses, 1 plus, and that's an R over N. All of that to the N times T power. Now let me explain this for a second. A is the total amount that you have. So that's the principal with all the compounded interest and everything else added in. Okay, so A is the total amount. P is the principal, that's the amount of money you're talking about. In parentheses, 1 stands for, where that comes from, is 100% of the principal, okay? This 1 plus part actually is the part in the formula that creates the interest being calculated and multiply um, calculated and compounded is what it's called, and that's what this R over N part is, okay? So down below you see a little list here of what those variables mean. R is the annual percentage rate, okay? Now sometimes they don't give you the rate of what it would be for a full year, so you have to figure that out. But R is the percent over the course of one full year. N, which is the bottom here, is the number of times that it's compounded in a year. Okay, so again, if it's a monthly compounding, then that would be a 12. Okay, if it's compounded um, every um, 18 months, then that would be um, part of a, it would be compounded um, three fourths of that amount. Okay, so n times t is the multiplication factor, and that's the compounding. Now, compounding, if you don't know, is actually when they kind of stop the timeline and they um, calculate the money and they add that all in. Okay, so it's a multiplication effect. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. You're going to take $5,000 invested at 6%. That's the annual percentage rate for three years, but you're going to compound it semi-annually. That means twice a year. So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers here. We've got $5,000, and it's going to be 1 plus. Now the R is the annual percentage rate, and we're going to go ahead and... Um, um, let's see. Okay, 6% is the whole year, but you're going to divide it by 2 because you're going to compound it twice the year. So 6 over 2 is 3, 3%. Um, don't forget now, though, that you're going to have to convert that to a decimal because that will be a part of our next calculation. All right, again, that's 6 over 2, 6% 6 over 2 because it's compounded twice a year. <coughs> now, again, n is the number of times it's compounded. In this case, we're going to do it over three years. So this exponent, a simpler way to say it, is over the given time period, three years, how many times is it going to be compounded? If it's compounded semi-annually, that's twice a year for three years, so that happens six times. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what that is. So $5,000 Put the, um, in parentheses, put that together, that's 100% plus 3%, 1.03 to the sixth power. Now on a calculator, you want to be very careful that you raise 1.03 to the sixth power and then multiply by 5,000. So sometimes you kind of have to go backwards. The final amount is $5,970.26. Okay, so if you're investing that, you would get 970 extra dollars. But keep in mind, you had to hold on to that for three years before you have access to it. All right, let's look at the next one. A equals, the principal is 3500, 3500. In the uh, formula, it's 1 plus, okay, what's the interest rate? 12%. Okay, that's 12%. Compounded monthly, well, how many times does that mean you compound it in a year? Okay, that would be 12. So 12% divided by 12 is actually 1%. Okay? 
In other words, every time it's compounded, it's 1% that's added in, okay? Now nine months is, let's do a little calculation over here, nine months out of 12, okay? Remember that the time period T is always in terms of years, so it's actually 0.75 of a year, okay? But let's just kind of think about that for a second. If on the outside of the parentheses you have 9 over 12, and you're going to go ahead and multiply it by how many times it's compounded, which is 12, those 12s are going to cancel out. And again, the shortcut here for this exponent, not to complicate it, but just to think about it, how many times over that nine month period are you going to compound it? Well, it's compounded once every month. There's nine months, so that means you're going to compound it nine times. All right, so 3,500. Put this per, um, percent together, 1.01, .01, that's to the ninth power. On a calculator, you're going to do 1.01 .01 to the ninth power first, then multiply by 3500, and the formula automatically puts everything together for you. So you should get 38, 27, 898. Okay, now that's what it says on your calculator, and there's more digits after that. So let's go ahead and call that 3827.90. Okay, we're gonna have to round up. All right, so if you borrow 3500, you're actually going to have to pay back that additional amount.